that this wing mirror is off my Red Fox, my Ducati 1098. I don't know what I did with it, I don't remember breaking it. Maybe I hit a car wing mirror or something. Anyway, I ordered some of the cheapest reflectable material. This acrylic, I don't know if it's too thick. I thought it'd be about two mil, but it's 2.9. Is that one eight, uh, an eighth of an inch? 2.9, I think it sounds right. Psh, calculator, take you bitch. 25.4 times 0.18. Yep, oh it's good, 2.99 is close. Anyway, it might be a bit thick, but I'm gonna try it anyway, and uh, if it doesn't look good, I'll just get some new stuff. So the problem is, how do you get this off? I don't see how to open this. I've played with it a little bit. Try and get the heat gun on it, and maybe lever it off a little. Some heat. In case you're wondering, this was only like $8, I think. Maybe $10 with shipping and stuff tax. I should probably wear glasses for this of some kind. Okay, glasses are on. Well, I've got a better idea than trying to lever it. It's got this sucker. That's pretty warm. I'm a sucker right now. I'm gonna try and, oh, water will cool it down. What can you do? Well, that's trash. That is useless. Kind of got that cracky feeling, I'll have to go for the weak bits. I don't really want to take it off in pieces. Oh, it is pretty thick, thicker than I thought. Now, the idea I wanted the glass for was to in one piece, which it isn't, well, so I could use it as a template to mark around. Now that's gone down the drain. We'll uh, have to use this. Who would have thought that oil would get everywhere? Okay. So. When you know you're gonna do it wrong, use red. Now the next stage, I don't know if it's gonna work, because I'm gonna try and cut this with the bandsaw, and I don't know how the bandsaw cuts acrylic. Acrylic. It kind of does. It works on. It definitely works on poly polycarbonate, but you have to use the vacuum because otherwise the plastic accumulates around inside, and it all it'll block it all up and mess the wheels up. But uh, uh, that should be cool anyway. So now I have to feel good about the offset of this. So That should be roughly, we can always take some off. So now I kind of want to go around and just mark it. This is where we're going to cut. It'll do, it's just a rough grade and then we're going to sand it down. So kind of get there, we'll get there. Now is the bit I'm worried about. These are a nice gift from Honda Jet. Well, gift may be not the correct word, but they're nice anyway. So, we'll give a go at this. This table has been delightful. I'm not sure if I need the hoover on. I think I'll set it up. Okay, so the hoover on, so I won't be able to hear me. And this will be on, so you won't be able to hear me. So, you're really lucky. Okay. okay, this, this bandsaw is going through this hot knife through butter, it's beautiful. These are great, this is, uh, what was the name is it? DeWalt, I think it was a WWSP whatever 120, and it's meant to be handheld, but I built this for as a video way back, built it into the table, and it's fantastic, it's super flexible, it cuts through like super thick steel if you want. Uh, the blades are only free for 20 bucks, and it's good on plastic as well, and wood. So if you're a bit of a hobby builder, this is fantastic little uh, bench show if you want to mod it a little. Anyway, I was going to cut out these finer details. Ok, 
Okay, as you can see, because of its the width of the blade, it's not the best at turning too sharp, but you can just cut it in sections like I did. And it's only got a five inch depth as well. So if you've got big sheets, it can only be 10 inch. Uh, you know, if it's any more than 10 inch, you can have a bit in the middle, it's hard to cut. So that's the first try. And I said, we can just sand this stuff, I think, with a file. So that's the idea here. Is that's pretty good around there. It's just this top edge, which, It's pretty close. You just take a lot, take some along there. And click straight in. I think no, 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 we're not in there yet. Sorry. this larger profile is good I don't want to stick with that and just take it off this end maybe but it's really close yep that is clicking in there that's pretty good and it's ideal depth too I mean it'll need weight on it to keep it in it'll probably need clamping so I'm have to take it apart if possible I'll just figure out to do that the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I've not seen these for sale I've only seen the unit for sale and it was like hundred and thirty dollars so this glass was eight bucks. So if you got the tools, you know it's not so bad. Just worth trying. Uh, we'll see if it sands now. See how well it sands down a little. So I've got these files, and some of them have got rounded pieces on that are kind of ideal for this. So I'll kind of take the edge off with that. Not too sure if that's a good idea. Maybe that's a bit rough for the plastic. I do have smoother ones here. Now, I kind of sanded it around and I think the shape's looking quite nice there and smooth. But I think what a good idea to finish it off is, is kind of go around the edge of a blade. And I don't know if an exacto will be good enough. Okay, let me try a chisel. Go bigger. Take this off now, it's pretty much done all the work. So I just kind of go around there now and take that edge off because I think the edge kind of reflects because uh, you kind of got an offset before the mirror surface and it took around and reflects that bad edge, which emphasizes it all. This isn't working very well, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try the knife, kind of potato peel it. Not put too much pressure on. And there we go, it's not too bad considering it's a, a complicated shape, really. Just a few tools. And uh, I think it's got no sticky back on this. I do have I do have sticky back tape, but I'm not sure if I want to use it because it's super thick. So I might use just use glue, hot glue, because that that's going to push it. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. I'm just going to use the I'm just going to use the tape. Screw it. Let's go with the tape. They use the tape. Let's use the tape. At least we know with the tape we can get it out easier in case it cracks again. Large surface area, it should be fine. My oily fingers all over it, that'll really help. Some dog hairs. Triangulation, triangulation is strength. Okay, is it really worth having? I mean, we may as well go for another piece, eh? We can fit it, just a little piece, like so. And then the magical moment. Welcome home, little baby. It's like you've never been away. Doesn't fit anymore. I guess I don't need to find ways of sticking it down. I can just hold it and it, it sticks pretty quickly. I think with the surface area and how 
light the plastic is, is just, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, let's put it back on the bike. Okay, this is relatively simple. It's just got a little bolt on the outside and it's got these two pegs that fit through and they, they there's like a spring in this forward subframe. Uh, so you just basically clip it into electronics for your indicator, blinker, whatever you call it, where you're from. Feed that back through. This is on the 1090A Ducati. Make sure we're on a different bike, but they may be quite similar. And it's basically just a push fit. Make sure you have the wire in the subframe correctly. And it's just a push, push fit like that. You just put the screw in by, by hand, hand tighten it, finger tighten it. And just a little socket to tighten that up. By the way, these mirrors are useless anyway. You can't use them, but I guess it's just Looks nice when one of them has not got a crack in it for the bike. You probably wouldn't do this if you could buy these for 20 or 20 bucks, but if you know I've not been able to find it and the whole thing's 130. So this glass was eight dollars I think. And there you go. Hey presto. Replacement of Ducati mirror. Really should use a microfiber. <laughs>